Today I'm working on a surgical laser machine that doesn't work. And so I was doing some troubleshooting here. I was going to give you a uh, quick once over and I have a question for those who know things about lasers. Uh, right here is the high voltage power supply. This puts out uh, 20 kV at uh, 30 watts or something like that. It's a 30 watt laser. This is the logic side. There's like a, it's like a dim that the controller is on, but uh, that's the logic side. That's the lower voltage power supply. And then here in the back, we have the laser tube itself. And then we have our liquid cooling pump. This uses Flowrunner FC77 by 3M. There's the heat exchanger down there for the liquid cooling. And then we have uh, an air pump, I think, here somewhere that um, blows the smoke away when you're doing the surgery. So what happens is you turn this on and it does its initial power-up diagnostics and then it says that um, the current is below the threshold and when you actually try and go to activate the laser it says low power and so that tells me that it's not the laser isn't pulling the expected rated power that the machine is looking for and the machine obviously very tightly controls that power output so when it's when it's too low or whatever it's going to create an air condition just the same as if it was too high so I'm going to turn this on Here's what the laser looks like when it tests. I got my glasses on, just so you know. That's what's what we get, current threshold. And below it tells me the voltage, 19.9 kV. And then if I go here, right, and I tell it continuous wave, 23 watts, and I tell it to start activating the laser to evaluate the power output, see, power evaluation. At which point it does that, and then it gives us an error condition. It says no power. So I've tested the power supply separately from the laser and I actually got the power supply to um, post correctly. So it seems that the power supply is good, um, which means that the only thing that's really left in my opinion is the laser tube needs to be regassed. Now, I can't get a service manual for this, or while well, I'm waiting to hear back from them, I've sent them an email. I doubt I will get one. But this is a uh, manufactured for cutting edge sur surgical lasers, uh, DECA Medical Electronics Something Association, DECALaser.com, focus. That's everything that I know about the laser. Other than after you open this up, the uh, laser tube and the power supply and stuff, on here it says, ellengroup.com. So I doubt they're gonna provide me with the service manual to this thing, but in my opinion, I think the laser just needs to be regassed. So those of you who are laser experts or um, have worked on these particular machines, maybe you can help me out a little bit with that. And so one more time, I'll power it up so you can watch the laser work.
kind of dim there, right? So, there you are. That's what I'm messing with today. If you all have any information for me, it is greatly appreciated. See ya.